Hello, good day all. Welcome to another episode of Mathematics. Today we are going to look at the frequency topic frequency distribution. I am Idris Abdekadi. At the end of the class, students are, uh, students are expected to be able to present data using frequency distribution table. Now let's begin with the definition of what a frequency distribution table is. It says it shows how a data set is partitioned among all the several categories or classes by listing all the categories along with the numbers, which is the frequency of data value in each of them. We are in frequency distribution table, we have what we call the lower class limits, which is being illustrated with the table above. And uh, we, we say that they are the smallest number that can actually belong to different class and have the upper class limit, which are the largest number that can actually belong to different classes, as illustrated to below. And uh, at the other side, we have frequency. And we say frequency describes the number of value in a data set that fall into each interval, which is from the value of 50 to 69, the value that fall between 50 to 69, it is true. The value that fall between 70 to 89 at 33, and so on and so forth. And uh, we said we have class midpoint. The class midpoint are the value in the middle of the classes and can be found by adding the lower number limit to the upper class limit to the and dividing the sum by two. Just as we have the table here, when we sum the value of 50 plus 69, we sum this class 50 plus 69, divide by 2, we have 59.5. And uh, when we said 70 plus 89, divide by 2, we have 89.5. That's why we call it the class midpoint. And we said the reasons for constructing frequency distribution. One, large data set can be summarized. We can analyze the nature of data. We have a basics of constructing important graphs. Now let's talk about the relative frequency distribution. We said including includes the same class limit as a frequency distribution, but the frequency of a class is replaced with a relative frequency, that is a proportion or a percentage frequency, which is a percentage. Now, and here is the formula to get the relative frequency. We say relative frequency equals to class frequency all over sum of all frequencies. And when we want to find the percentage frequency, we will multiply it by 100. Then we have our percentage. Now, frequency relative distribution. We have a table illustrated. We say 50, our, our classes is 50 to 69. Our frequency is 2. Now, the relative frequency is uh relative frequency is 2 divided by 78 that is the total sum of all these frequencies 2 33 35 71 it is 78 so 2 divided by 78 you will get this whatever we get times 100 and we have 2.62 percent as our relative frequency so also 33 divided by 78 what we get divided by 2 uh, what we get divided by in times 100 and we have this 42.3 now let's talk about the cumulative frequency we said cumulative frequency is the frequency of all data values that are less than or equal to a given value we have a table here well a cumulative frequency is included now when we want to find our cumulative frequency the first frequency plus the second frequency we have our second cumulative the first one the first cumulative will take your first frequency which will be our first cumulative then the second cumulative will be the first frequency plus the second frequency will give us the second cumulative while the second cumulative cumulative plus the third frequency will give us the third cumulative and so on and so forth and now these are our cumulatives for the table 
Now, example. The weight of a dog seen at a vet office are given below. 45, 15, 75, 48, 86, and so on and so forth. A. Use the data to make a cumulative frequency table of the data set. Now, this being so, we range it from 1 to 20, 21 to 40, because our lowest value here is 15, and our highest value here is 93. So we decide to range it by 20, 20. Now, 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, 61 to 80, 81 to 100. And our frequency here, between 1 to 20, we can find only one value, which is 15, and we put it down. Between 21 to 40, we have three values. So now our cumulative frequency, our first frequency will be our first cumulative. Then the first frequency plus second frequency, our first cumulative plus second cumul uh, frequency will give us the second cumulative. Then the second cumulative plus third frequency will give us the third cumulative, which is 44 plus 6 is 10. Now 10 plus 3 will give us 13. Then 13 plus 2 will give us 15. Now, let's take an assignment, which goes, the ages of people in line, the age of people in line at a movie theater are given below. 17, 16, 16, 21, 23, 25, 38, 44, 19, 31, 34, 18. Now, A, use the data to make a cumulative frequency table of the data set. B, how many people in the line are under the age of 31? Submit your answer or any inquiries to jimosmith at edufost.ng. Thank you for your time.